Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host Ryan, and uh, today we actually do have quite a bit of changes. Uh, so I dropped Celesteela for Hariyama. I dropped Glycopod for Araquanid, and I've changed some items around. So uh, this is the exact same Hariyama that I used on the Magazone team. Uh, the only thing is, is I changed this ability to Guts because ability capsules are Bay. Uh, I gave it a Flame Orb. Uh, I also gave Mudsdale a Life Orb instead of the Ground Z, and I gave a Raquinid. Uh, I swapped out Leech Life for Lunge, and I and I gave it uh, and I let it keep its Water Water Z. Um, and if you remember correctly, I did uh, change Drampa's ability from Berserk to Sap Sipper, but that was a couple episodes ago. Uh, main reason for this is because I've been seeing, I, the person who won the most recent recent regionals won with a team very similar to what I was running. Uh, the a couple of different changes, like, I'm pretty sure instead of Mudsdale they had, uh, Magnazone, and instead of or Oranguru they had, um, Porygon too. But, it, they didn't have any Ultra Beasts, and I realized I don't really need to use Ultra Beasts or Tapus, and I really don't like Celesteela, so I got rid of it, and we'll see how this goes. Um, we've got Porygon 2, Muk, Hariyama, Tapu Bulu, Marowak, and of course Lapras for some reason. Um, so I think what I want to do is I want to go or Oranguru and Hariyama. Uh, we're going to bring Mudsdale for that Muk, because Muds, <laughs> I hate Muk so much. And I think we'll bring. Uh, Drampa. Drampa's pretty good against Bulu and Marowak, so that should be pretty solid there. So this is most likely going to be a Trick Room team. He's got, he's got a Setter in Porygon, too. A everyone kind of just runs Setters now, which is kind of unfortunate for me, but, uh, I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Um, as you can see, like, his team's definitely in the Trick Room range. His team's going to outspeed mine, so I'm probably not going to want to run Trick Room. I brought Oranguru because Mimikyu doesn't really do very much outside of setting Trick Room. Um, it does get burn and it does have pain split, so it's nice, but it's not exactly the best of options. Um, so if I'm not going to go for Trick Room, I want to go for, you know, uh, Instruct. So that's why I brought Oranguru. Uh, if he wants to start off with Muck, which he's going to, um, I can just fake out the Muck and then kind of take it from there. So I'm going to go for Trick Room. I don't know exactly what this Lapras wants to do, but we'll see. I'm going to go for the Fake Out, uh, and then I'm probably going to switch out my Oranguru for Drampa, maybe. No. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. I forget who I brought. Okay, so he's just going to straight up withdraw the Lapras and send out Bulu. Okay. Uh, I can just Heavy Slam that thing next turn, which is good. Um, okay, so that goes off, good, he's done, he's faked out, and I do get my Trick Room off. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to double Heavy Slam the Bulu. Uh, I know he's probably going to knock me off here, knock my Oranguru off. Oranguru, I like how, it, I like the Oranguru pronunciation better. So I'm going to be going for that, but it, it's very hard for me to get into that mindset. So I have 63 and 80, so I should be fine. Um, as long as this muck isn't like negative speed. So we're going to go for the Instruct on the Hariyama. We're going to go for the Heavy Slam onto the Bulu. And with the Burn Orb... No! I got predicted. I don't got predicted, friends. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate, because uh, I will be taking pro... Oh, what? Curse? Really? That's interesting. Um. Huh. Maybe I will swap out my Oranger. I don't want to come in on a on a knockoff though, uh, for my Trampa. That would be very unfortunate. Uh, but the cool thing about the grassy terrain is I should have regained HP. Shouldn't I? Or does burn happen after? Oh, so, aha, you got me there. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. Wait, hold on, does he have something that wants to come in on a heavy slam? Not particularly. Okay, I'm okay with that. 
Now you may be wondering why I'm not, you know, just straight up attacking the Mach who's at plus one attack and defense. Uh, because I can't really do anything against it right now. Uh, I can switch in, but like I said, I really... Okay, so he's gonna swap into Marowak. I mean, that's kind of okay by me. Um, I don't want to switch in on a, on a knockoff or something from the Mach. Ah, that did a lot of damage. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. Okay. Um, wow, I'm kind of surprised that Poison... I know he's plus one, that did a lot of damage. Uh, okay, but that was actually not too bad. I can kill him with a knockoff, but I think I'm gonna knock off the Muck. He has, uh... No, he doesn't have HP. What does he have? I mean, I could close combat it too, but he is faster than me, so he's probably gonna get get a kill on me first. Uh, who do I have in the back? I've got Mudsdale and Drampa, so I'm actually in a pretty solid position to just stall out my own trick room here. Uh, I'm gonna go for another prote uh, another instruct, but uh, this time I'm gonna go for a knockoff, but I'm gonna do it into the muck. Yeah, okay, so I, I figured he would protect there, because I would want to, you know, take out the, the Marowak, of course. Um, I'm hoping he goes for the Oranguru here. No, he doesn't. Okay. I thought I would survive that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It was, it was an unfortunate turn for us. Um, but here is the query. Do I bring in Mudsdale? Or do I bring in Trampa? I bring in Mudsdale. I think this is the right play. I'm gonna instruct the Mudsdale, and we're gonna go for high horsepower onto the Marowak. Not sure what the I think the Muck's gonna want to protect here. All right. I'm instructing on the Marowak because if I do kill the Marowak and the Muck doesn't protect, I should be able to do at least half damage to Muck. But if the Muck protects and the Marowak switches out, then I get double damage into whatever's coming in. Uh, and if it's Bulu, then I can just swap into Drampa. So it should be pretty solid here. Uh, Muck does protect here, so that was a good prediction on my part. Uh, I'm not really sure what the Marowak is going to do. Yeah, he should just straight up die. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Cool. And then... We do get instructed again, but that's okay, because that's not going to do anything, it's just going to hit into the Protect. And yeah, there we go. Beautiful! So that was a good turn for me. Uh, like I said, if he brings in Bulu here, um, which he most likely will, I can just swap into my own Drampa to take that Wood Hammer. And then there's like probably nothing that he can do for, to me. Um, I'm trying to think though, the Muck outsped my Hariyama, so I wonder if it's going to outspeed my Drampa. He sends out Lapras instead. That's actually a pretty good play on his part. Um, I'm going to hope that he can't touch me here. I'm going to protect my Mudsdale and go for the Trick Room. I definitely, I really don't know how to play around Mucks. To be honest, uh, they're very, very powerful. So he's gonna go for that that knockoff. I'm thinking I'll survive that. I do survive that. Beautiful. Um, but he he does drop my citrus berry. So unfortunately, I will most likely go down here. However, I can just straight up superpower the Lapras, uh, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna instruct the Mudsdale. Not that it matters because you know he's gonna not, not gonna be able to attack yet. Um, but I will go for the Instruct Superpower. My or or Oranguru is going to die this turn for sure, uh, as long as he plays it correctly. But I'm hoping my Mudsdale can take out the Lapras at the same time. One of the downsides to this team is that it's not zero speed IV. Oh, he's knocking off... Okay, the Oranguru. I was like, wait a second, why is he knocking off... But it makes sense, it would kill. Um, so we do go for that Superpower. I'm hoping this kills. It doesn't kill. Damn. And then we do lose to the Hydro Pump, unfortunately. We don't die to the Hydro Pump? Really? Whoa. 
Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. Um, I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure that this muck has a uh, has has assault vest. Wait, no, it went for protect. It can't have assault vest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for hyper voice, and I'm gonna protect. Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna protect. I was just gonna say like actually, poison jab shouldn't kill me, but he's gonna go for knockoff. Why would he go for poison jab? Yeah, so he's not going to switch out the Lapras, that's why I didn't want to attack here. Yep, beautiful. Exactly how I predicted. Hyper Voice will take out the, the Lapras, and it should do a decent chunk to that Muck. That's not enough. Why is Muck so damn tanky? Holy crap. I don't even know what its stats are. It can't be that bad. Okay, so we see the Bulu come out. Now, I can beat Bulu 1v1 with my Drampa. So, if I just go for Hyper Voices, that should be fine. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. And just in case, just in case, I am going to go for the Heavy Slam onto the... No, I'm going to go for High Horsepower onto the Muck. I, 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 there's no reason not to. Yeah, he's just going to go for the knockoff. There was no reason not to go for that. Really no reason. Because uh, he, will, he will outspeed me here. So, I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice. Now, one of the things that I'm not entirely sure about my team is please 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 go for the wood hammer uh one of the things that i'm not sure about my team is oh god i hate that so much yes get wrecked <laughs> um one thing is i don't know if i like assault vest on drampa i kind of feel like assault vest would be better on mudsdale but i really don't know you know I, i'm really i'm i'm at a loss i really don't know what to do with this drampa uh, it's really good, and I really like the coverage that it has, but its coverage isn't good enough. You know, if I go, if I go Life Orb, because I, I really like, I really want Protect on Drampa. If I go Life Orb, what do I drop? I mean, I never really use Shadow Ball, so that's one option. But I don't know, you know, I really don't. So what he's doing here is he's stalling out Trick Room to get the, uh... Wait, he's faster than my Drampa. Yeah, Trick Room was not a good option here. Um, oh god. Yeah, no, I lose. Unless I get a, a crit. Unless I get, a, like, a super crit. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. But see, like, Drampa is now officially, like, one of the best Tapu Bulu counters. <laughs> like, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. I want, I'm gonna... I don't think I can win this. Poison Jab is another two hits. And judging by this Bulu, he probably doesn't have anything to hit me with. And I will be outspeeding the Muck. So, it's an option? I don't think Bulu's running Rock Slide. No way. Yeah, see, he has nothing to hit me with. That I was correct in assuming that I could easily outstall the Bulu. Um, I have to get a crit next turn. Oh, he's gonna go for knockoff. That will kill me. Yeah, okay. I don't know why he didn't go for knockoff in the first place. That probably would've killed me, too. Um, that's unfortunate. But yeah, so like I was saying, you know, Life Orb would really extend the power of Drappa. Now that I don't have Berserk, but even in that, well, I, no, I did drop a little half in that battle. But in that battle, I would have lost a lot quicker if I didn't have Sap Zipper. So remember that. Um, I think Sap Zipper is personally better. But yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I don't want Draco Meteor because I don't think Draco Meteor is that strong. Um, like it's it's a good it's a it's a, it's obviously very strong, but I don't think it's strong enough. You know, you get that negative two. It's not really that useful. From I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of of Draco Meteor. Um, but, then there's the thought of, of what would I run? Obviously I'm gonna run Hyper Voice, Hyper Voice is a very strong attack, but do I run, like, if it got Earth Power, that'd be great. I'd run Earth Power, but it doesn't. Um, okay, so we've got Bulu, Ninetales, Sandslash, uh, Drampa, Marowak, and Finny. So, very water, no, a very ice, um, I'm gonna start off with my... I think I'm gonna bring my Araquanid because it gets it gets wide guard. Um, if I go Oranguru, because I don't think he can stop that Oranguru Araquanid, Dramp in the back just in case he starts Bulu and tries to kill the Or Oranguru. Um, and I don't th I think Hariyama is gonna be useful, so I'm gonna bring Hariyama. Let's try that. Let's try that. Remember, you know, um, my Dramp is pretty much a counter to Bulu and Marowak because uh, Marowak can only really. Bone Meringue Drampa, so it's not really, you know, the best of options. 
Uh, and one of the downsides to bringing Hariyama to Tapu Fini is that Misty Terrain actually stops my item from going off. Uh, you know, I was also playing around with, like, what if I gave Assault Vest to Hariyama and I gave him Thick Fat, you know? That might be an option, too. But I think it would work a little bit better on Mudsdale. I don't know, I have to run calculations for that. Um, but I don't know what I would I would give Hariyama. Because I'm don't. i not a big fan of Guts Flame Orb, to be honest. Uh, it's obviously very strong, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. But, I don't know. Something to, something to consider. Something for you guys, maybe, to, uh give ideas to. But hopefully this battle is like 5 minutes because we're already at 15. Oy, that last battle was long. It wasn't stall though, so I'm okay with that. I was just trying to win. If I got a crit, I would have been able to win there. As you saw, Bulu couldn't do anything. Um, Marowak and Bulu? Oh, interesting. Oh, this is, this is very interesting. Should I risk it? I think we can risk the Trick Room here. I risk the Trick Room. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just started choking on something. I don't even know what it was. It, like, dust flew in my mouth. And it's still there. It's at the back of my throat, and it's really annoying me. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna Hydro Vortex. Well, nah. Nah, I'm gonna swap him to Drampa here. I don't know, there's no reason to risk a Raquinid. Um, yeah, cause he's just gonna swap out. Oh, that's still not a good switch in though. It's a, it's, it's probably his best switch in, but it's not, it's not a good switch in. <laughs> um, not gonna lie, it's not a very good switch in. Um, so I bring in Drampa, hopefully to take that, uh, Woodhammer or Horn Leech. Mega Horn? What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> that was not, dude. Oh, I guess because of the switching. But if he went for Woodhammer, that would have killed my Warringer. <laughs> he should have just protected the Marowak and gone for the Woodhammer. I don't know why he didn't. Um, I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna let him take out my my um Oranguru here. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt onto the top of any because it's probably gonna just gonna wait. Oh, I can't cancel. Never mind. I was gonna say I can go for Hyper Hyper Voice, but no, nah, this is this is fine. I'd rather kill a Finny. <laughs> wait, really? Yo, that was a really good prediction. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, if I went for Hyper Voice like I, I figured I should, it really wouldn't have mattered. So this is honestly. It was an equal trade. I could have, I could have predicted the the marrow. I can go for Shadow Ball, but I don't think that was really, you know, in my best of interests. I think trying to kill the Finny was the best option here. That was a really good prediction, though, on my opponent's part. I will give him that. Um, so I don't think he's gonna expect Shadow Ball. No one really runs Shadow Ball on Drampa, so I'm gonna go for it. I hope he's just not stalling me like like a prick. I, I really, I, I have no remorse for Stallers. This is a 15 minute game. Not even, no, this is like a 10 minute game. There's no reason to stall. All you have to do is just win, you know? So he's gonna swap out the Bulu, probably expecting the, um, the Ice Beam. Well, wait, why would he switch into Drampa then? Wait, why would he switch into Drampa? That makes no sense. Oh my god, that literally makes no sense. <laughs> Flare Blitz comes off, he might actually kill himself with this. Which I'm totally okay with. Please kill yourself. Come on. Come on. Yes! So the turn worked actually better than I had planned. Um, losing Warringer there is actually really nice. Because uh, then I could just bring in Hariyama. Because <laughs> even if he brings in um, Bulu, I could just heavy slam it. No, wait, even if he brings in Bulu, it doesn't matter. Um, I might just heavy slam the Drampa slot if he doesn't- if he doesn't bring in- if he doesn't bring in Bulu and send, sends in Finny, I'm gonna just heavy slam that slot. I'm gonna heavy slam the- the Drampa. I'm not even gonna bother faking out, there's no point. I'm just gonna heavy slam that spot. Or I can knock off. Nah, heavy slam's better. Um, he could also protect, so that's why I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice instead. 
I should survive a Draco, I think. I don't know. Yeah, he's just gonna protect. Curious, though. I'm not really sure I understand that. But okay. Who's he gonna Moonblast, though? That's what I'm... Curious about. I could've Thunderbolted, but yeah, that does that does enough damage. Um, okay. Soak! That's, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, why? I guess he doesn't have Draco Meteor either? I don't know, I guess I'll close combat this time. <laughs> Let's see why not. Um, and then we'll go for a Thunderbolt onto the top of Finny. I, I don't understand the soak. Yeah, I'll lose Hyper Voice Stab, but I can kill each one of you without it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need my Hyper Voice right now. So he does go for the switch this turn, but I should have one more turn left to trick him, I think. I hope. Uh, so it shouldn't be too big a deal. And again, I'm not too worried about a Bulu when, as long as I have a Dramp on the field. Just gonna put that out there. Um, I didn't expect him to switch knowing that I had the Heavy Slam, but again, I'm not, you know, too concerned. It should still do a decent chunk. I'm not burnt yet. I will get burnt after this turn. And as long as I have Trick Room still up, this is fine. This is completely okay. I might actually double into the Finny here. Yeah, I don't know. Losing my normal stab is really... Oh, I see what he did. Okay. That's actually kind of funny. And I don't think he realizes what he just did. He soaked me so he can he can use Tapu Bulu on me. But it's not going to matter. Um, so just in case he does... No, I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt. Actually, should I be cheeky and predict the ice and predict the Drampa? I kind of want to be cheeky and, and predict that. No, I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. I don't care. I don't care, because if he's, he's, he's just going to soak. Damn it, he's going to try and kill the Hariyama. I didn't expect that. I thought he would want to kill the... Damn it, I really thought he would want to kill the... Damn it, I really thought he would want to kill the Drampa first. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I should have I should have gone for the... Uh, Bulu. Walkenberry, of course. I thought for the longest time that Walkenberry was illegal. Wow, that did nothing. I thought Walkenberry was illegal uh, because Cerebi had it listed as unobtainable, but as it turns out, it's actually perfectly legal uh, because they were just wrong. So that's unfortunate. Um, this is where I kind of sort of lose, I think. I'm gonna lunge the Bulu, and I'm gonna Ice Beam the Bulu. I'm just trying to think like what he can do here, and I don't think he can do much. He's just gonna so- oh, okay, that's unfortunate. That's actually a pretty cool combo, I like that. Um, I'm surprised he's not going for the Drampa yet. I guess he realizes, maybe? Maybe he realizes that he's, uh, that I'm, sa I'm Sap Zipper? I don't know. Or maybe he just realizes that the rest of my team is a bigger threat, so he wants- Oh my- Oh my god! Holy crap! That did a lot of damage. Um... Okay. Well, I think I can take a turn to not attack the Bulu, because I think it's just gonna go for the Horn Leech. So I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt onto the Finny. Get that thing, hopefully, out of the way. He's either going to protect or Horn Leech, and either way, it's it's a good turn for me, because I have Sap Zipper. And as long as I get rid of the Finny... I hope he forgot that he soaked me, and he's going to be like, okay, I have to soak this turn. Now he's going to Scald. Wait, why would you Scald? I'm Watertight! It's not very effective. Yep, there we go. So he, he now officially knows that he can't do anything to my Drampa, and this is exactly why I attacked the Finny this turn. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, that doesn't kill, really? Oh my god, I hate this Finny. I hate Finny so much. Um... Question is, is he gonna swap out the Finny? Should I predict and go for Ice Beam? Or should I just go for... I'm gonna predict the Ice Beam. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. His Finny is his win condition. He's not going to want to die. Oh, we're protected. Okay. Wait, what's the Bulu going to do? Megahorn. Right, I forgot about Megahorn. Oh, uh, that's, that's not good. I lost. 
<laughs> That's not good, I lost. Alright, I forgot about Megahorn. I was like, oh yeah, he's not gonna do anything to me, but nope, Megahorn. Totally forgot about Megahorn. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna lose then. That's okay. I should have killed the Bulu. I really should have. I expected the swap out, you know. I totally expected the swap out. That's okay. Grass disappeared. It means nothing. <laughs> it means literally nothing. And that's gonna be game. Eh, I got outplayed. That's cool. It happens. Definitely happens. Uh oh, my dog's about to start barking at me. Start barking at me. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Just give it like three seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put you down. I'll put you down. I'll put you down. Go, go. Go, go. Oh, well. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.